Today we will teach you about the Arctic Tundra. It will be very boring, so hold on to your seats. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mississippi. Uh. Today we'll, we will be setting the Arctic Tundra in the winter and summer. Ooh. Ah. Do you have any questions about the summer? Yes. What's that brown thing? That is a musk ox. Ooh. What does it eat? It eats twigs and leaves. Yes. It looks ugly. <laughs> That's because it, well, not it, all animals have horns and all animals are big like that. Oh. What protection does it have? It has its curved horns right here and here. So when it, um, a wolf or fox comes at it, it can hurt it with its horns and ram out. What are its predators? Its predators are arctic wolves and arctic foxes. How is it adapted to the tundra? It is adapted by growing quivia all over itself to protect it from the cold. Hmm. Where does it live? It lives in the northwestern territory. Oh. Mm -hmm. Any more questions about summer? Nope. Um. Any questions about winter? What's that little thing that looks like a dog in the corner? That is a lemming. Oh, mm -hmm. What does it eat? It eats the same as the musk ox, twigs and leaves. Okay. Mm -hmm. And its predators are ermine, snowy, owls, wolves, and fox. What protection does it have? It has its little holes. And here's some more around here. How is it adapted? It has adapted by digging its holes and going into them to protect it from the cold and its camouflage. Where does it live? It lives in the, the like northern Canada part. Like, Little louder girls, okay. It has adapted by, ha by having the sun direct to the center of the flower. Okay, does it have any predators? No. Why not? I don't know. It's because of its toxin, pretty much, actually. Okay. Does it toys in you? Probably not. Vegetation is like farming and plants and water. Uh, how about the weather? Well, the weather is, the average temperature is a negative 30 degree Fahrenheit, and then in the summer temperature, it's a 54 degree Fahrenheit. Oh, uh, how about the water? Well, it could be frozen or liquid depending on the weather. As you can see in the summer, it is liquid, but even though it's winter, it's not liquid because of global warming. Okay. Light? Light? Well, um, the Arctic 
temperature is light in the summer and dark in the winter. Oh. How can we... for watching class time with Miss Mississippi and her students, Sacramento, California, and Brooklyn, New York.